the data from the radar, the data from the satellite also comes to their aid. I am Rahul Saxena. I am working as Scientist E in India Meteorological Department. So IMD has been involved in a lot of things uh, that are, is associated with the weather forecasting. And uh, so we have different divisions, like we have satellite meteorology, besides working in NWP divisions. We have SETMET division, which caters to the satellite uh, product from the uh, satellite. And then we have radar division, which uh, pertains to the working with the radar data. Then we have uh, other observatories all around the uh, country, uh, where the data comes from. That data is crunched and crushed into the mathematical models. And once the mathematical models are run, then the data is simulated for the next 24 to 144 hours. Depending upon those models, they are used by the synopticians who take care of those uh, models as a guidance. And in addition to that, the data from the radar, the data from the satellite also comes to their aid. And once the data is put at one, uh, once forecaster's desk, he's able to come out with the in inference which he issues, issues to the public. It is a geospatial activity and where we are giving the forecast along the highway. Uh, those forecasts. So since we are running the mathematical models and since we have the observation data, so we are able to give both the current data as well as the what is going to happen during the next 24, 48 hours along the highway. So anybody who is planning out a visit and is traveling along that particular highway would be able to know as to how you know the subsequent weather in the subsequent places are. And so that is the way he can accordingly plan out his you know excursion trips. There are both ways, you know, people can log on to the website. We have got a very comprehensive website where a lot of data is put on, a lot of information is being put on. So people can log on to the website, which is www.imd.gov.in, and they can look at the various uh, uh, the forecasts that are being issued. And besides that, like I said, it is a user-specific forecast. Say, for example, VIP forecast. So we get a confirmation from the PMO office that a particular VIP is flying out. On user demand, forecasts are being issued, right? So farmers, agromet advisories are given to the farmers, especially vis-a-vis -vis the various variability of the weather, depending upon that, we advise them uh, when to, you know, sprinkle uh, their field with the water, when to, you know, sprinkle with the pesticides, what pesticides to avoid and all those things. So those are, those goes as an advisory depending upon what weather input we are going to get. Recently, we have already de developed a uh, weather app that is going to be, you know, launched very shortly. And that weather app is able to give us the current information and uh, the forecast for the next three days. Uh, that is, uh, for, that app is known by the Indian weather. It is going to be available on the Google Play Store very shortly. We have also launched our geospatial uh, product. Uh, that was CRIS, that is Central Rainfall Information System. See, there are a lot of other institutes which are working. There are, they are on the R&D mode, right? So we have IATM, Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology, which is in Pune. We have NCMRWF, which is in Noida. Then IITs, a lot of IITs which have got uh, Center for Atmospheric Sciences. So they take, they take, so we have a collaboration with them. So we award them projects. And there is a, you know, just like any other R&D institute, like, so IMD is not only on the operational basis it is doing the work there is there needs to be an r d part of it also right so at the, so there are a lot of scientists who are involved in the r d activities so there are on collaborative manner so we and not only with the iits even abroad we have under usa programs so we being a world meteorological organization so whosoever are the meteorological organizations all around the world we have a collaborative approach with all these people As far as IMD is concerned, it is basically the job of IMD is to give a weather forecast to the people, right? How that, on depending upon their forecast, what preparedness, what ground preparedness, preparations are required, that is not a prerogative of IMD. That is for the state authorities to decide how ta town planning is going to deal with it. But on regular basis, the inputs are given to the state authorities for them to actually take care of how it is going to happen. So for even not only, and this is a regular practice. Say once the cyclone forms and it is, you know, approaching a particular coast, we start giving the forecast about the fishermen for fishery forecast is given where the fishermen are asked not to venture into the sea. So as long as soon as it starts approaching, a particular event is about to happen. Uh, happen, especially the you know heavy rainfall event. 
uh, those forecasts are uh, pushed into the you know state authorities and then further on it is for the state authorities to decide as to how to act upon it how to mobilize the people that is not the uh, you know prerogative of imd to decide imd's prerogative is to give the weather forecast to the public